Freeway from 1996, a gigantic missed opportunity. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Freeway from 1996. Now, this movie has so much going for it and they just throw it away, I don't get it. Might as well just start off with the pros and the cons. I'm gonna be describing stuff eventually. One of the biggest pros of this movie was the unique premise. Freeway is set, I think in San Diego, and there's a killer, like the 605 killer, and he's going up and down the 605 freeway, just killing people. So he goes from LA back to San Diego, back to LA. Reese Witherspoon is this really trashy, redneck kind of girl, really rough trailer park family. She ends up having a, a really bad day, runs off, has car trouble, and she ends up getting picked up by this 605 killer who happens to be Kiefer Sutherland from 24 or The Lost Boys. I felt that Reese Witherspoon and Kiefer Sutherland had a really good back and forth. I really liked pretty much all of their scenes. I think their chemistry was good. Reese Witherspoon has like a boyfriend in here. I liked the guy's attitude and I like Reese Witherspoon's attitude. So I liked them as a couple. I just wish we had a little bit more time. So the ending was solid, better than other parts of the movie, and so I'll give it that. This movie attempts to have its own style, and I appreciate that. And that's just another thing that makes me so frustrated that they missed this opportunity. The movie attempts to have its own edgy style, and I appreciate that. It probably nails, I don't know, maybe half the stuff. All right, guys, let me jump into my mixed aspects and a mixed aspect is I feel like it's much more of a girl dominant movie than it lets on to be. You know, you think, okay, a girl riding with a serial killer is just gonna be like a back and forth mix. And it's not a bad thing. I mean, everyone likes what they like. I mean, I would like a, a guy's movie, but I just felt like it was much, much, much more of a girl's movie by the end because, you know, Reese Witherspoon at one point has to go into jail. Uh, there's kind of like this feminine camaraderie all the time. And so I just kind of saw it a little bit as like a goofy girls movie, a little bit, like not 100%, but a little bit. And that's why I put it in mix because it's not a bad thing. All right, guys, let's jump into the cons of this movie. And the cons is they don't explore the main idea. What we want to see is Reese Witherspoon, trailer trash against this 605 killer. We want a couple back and forths. We want, you know, just a lot of a lot of them. That's what I want to see the most of this movie. So they're together for about 22 minutes total, but this guy doesn't reveal that he's crazy for a little while. From the time that they're in the car and he reveals himself as crazy, to the time that the scene is wrapped up and we're moving on to something else in this movie, that's 10 minutes. So we got 10 minutes of it. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. They could have done so much with this 605 killer. Such an interesting idea. I almost want to remake a movie now. At one point, Kiefer Sutherland gets kind of mangled. He has a disfigured face. And I just don't know why they did that in this movie. So like most of the movie, he has a disfigured face. He can't really talk or like this. And it's just like, you're trying to make an entertaining movie, right? Well, I just, he's not that entertaining that way. You know, it's just, I'm not going to lie. He can't really show off anything, he's mangled, you know? Another thing I don't like about this movie is that it has some gross, low-class scenes just for the sake of it, and it happens quite a bit. Overall, Reese Witherspoon is pretty entertaining. Most of the time she pulls it off, but there was a couple times to where I'm like, wow, she needed some more direction on that because I think there was one time where she hit somebody and it was obviously fake, so there was like, two, three, four times where I saw her doing something and it was just like, oh, that's so not believable. But that's more the director's fault. The director should have seen it and changed things up. So I'm not really talking badly on her, but if I had to rate this movie, I'd probably rate it like a five to a 5.5 5 out of 10. Uh, it has so much going for it. I love the actor and actress. I like the idea. I like that it has this new vibe. I like Reese Witherspoon and her boyfriend. I like Reese Witherspoon and Kiefer Sutherland, but they just completely throw it away. Like, what else could you do in this movie? Besides that, that's what the movie's about. 605 killer, 10 minutes. Gosh, it was so close to being good and they just threw it away. Anyways, guys, if you ever seen Freeway from 1996, let me know some other good Kiefer Sutherland movies. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.